Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another video on Serious About Salvage. So today's plan is to continue with the 500C. Um, let's try and get this front pack on and get some coolant back in it. And um, yeah, we're going to be waiting for parts then. I don't really want to make a start on the dashboard right now. We're going to be waiting for some parts then. So this video probably will be videoed over a few days, I think. Um, let's, let's spin around and we'll go through what we're going to do. So this is where we left it in the last video. Everything's stripped off the front. The only thing we haven't removed yet is this wing. Which I'm just going to leave for now. Might as well stay on there until we get one. Um, but we've got all our rad pack here in front panel. A fan, radiator, aircon rad, front panel. Lower crash bar, I need my front crash bar, let's go and grab that, back here, <clears throat> there it is with the foam on it, take that down the front, <clears throat> let's plonk that there, oh, I'll put it over here actually, put it there, so we want to get that on as well, um, and then yeah really, uh, and we need to then get some parts, i.e. the headlight tab repair kits, a wing, a bonnet, bumper skin, really. Um, but yeah, then there is obviously this, I mean, oh, one minute, and I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, we've got this dashboard, so maybe, maybe we'll do the front pack, <clears throat> front panel, shall we say, and then get this dashboard swapped out. And that'll do us then for this video, won't it? Then we can come back and, when I, well, like I say, come back when I've got the bits for the front, i.e. bumper skin, wing and bonnet, and do another video building the rest of the front end back up. I think that sounds like a plan. Yeah. All right, so yeah, let's get this front panel back together. I would have preferred it if it was all built up because there's bits of brackets and, and things that hold these rad packs in. If I move this over here, I'll explain without trying to hurt myself. So the rad pack is held in by some brackets that attach to here and there, which I've got from the old one. But the top little clamps at the top of the rad pack, they're riveted in. And they've, they've took them off, it doesn't make any sense. Um, because unfortunately the ones on mine, which are in there, you can just see the bottom of it sticking out there. They're broken. So I can put it together, because I can put them little, little brackets on afterwards, but yeah, it's a bit annoying that, I don't know why you would do that. So what I'm thinking is we'll get it sat in place, fixed into the top, there, that'll hold it still. And then we need to sit all the rad pack in and stuff before the crash bar goes on. Um, yeah, that sounds like a plan, I think. Right, I'll get you on the stand. Let's get, let's get our, uh, let's get going.
All right, front panel back on. There were no issues with the um, chassis leg bolts, so yeah, they were perfectly fine. They've not been touched. It's all on, fixed tight. Might need a little bit of a jiggery poker here when we come to putting the pumper on. <clears throat> but for now, that's that's good enough. So uh, what I've got left is I've got I've got the bonnet latch to put in. Um, I've got these little adjusters that go down there to the bumper side lights. Them two little things there. I've got obviously to fill it with coolant. I need to fix that back on. That goes just onto there. Something like that. <clears throat> Um, yeah, fill it with coolant and make sure there's no... I need to put the radiator pipes on, don't I? That upper one and the lower one. I've had a little bit of a wrestle with that lower one already. It's quite tight. So I might put a bit of um, lubrication in there. Um, but yeah, it's all gone on okay. It's all gone nice. So... Yeah, I'll button up them bits and pieces. Get some coolant in it. And then... I think we're going to be done on the front end, like I said, for now we need some more parts, so we've got this interior, which I'm going to do in this video, but I'm not going to do it today, I don't think. Yeah, I'll get these, button, these last few bits buttoned up and then we'll come back and make sure there's no leaks and stuff and um, go from there. Okay, there we go. We're all worked up now on this. Coolant's in. Engine's up to temp. It's running well. We've got nice hot air. That's it up to temperature. Uh, yeah, it's gone really well actually. It's good. It's all good. So yeah, it's all bled up. Yeah, that's all good. Everything that I mentioned before is now on. So yeah, literally I've got nothing else um, other than the interior I can be getting on with. But like I said, we will continue with this video on the interior. But I'm going to probably come back and continue it tomorrow because the Fiesta is the priority and any minute now really the wing should be turning up so I want to get on with this because this is like I said the one that needs to be done uh, basically tomorrow night it's got to be finished so I've got a bit to do there um, so yeah, I'll be back uh, possibly, probably tomorrow, and we'll do that dashboard. So yeah, in a few seconds for you. Be for me, be tomorrow for me. Right, we're back. It's time to continue with this Fiat 500C. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this dashboard kit swapped over. So the whole dashboard, drives airbag, knee airbag, passenger airbag, obviously in the dash. Um, seat belts, pre tensioners, um, everything on the inside of the car. We'll get that all finished off in this video now because I've got it all. Um, but yeah, I won't do any time lapse because it's a long, tedious job, and I mean, it can't be that exciting for you guys to just watching in fast. Uh, in yeah. I know the word I'm trying to think of. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll jump in and out and just show you bits and pieces. That trim's hanging off already. Uh, show you bits and pieces of the process, I think. That's going to be the best bet. And we'll just get it hammered out and get this video finished. So yeah, let's, let's get on with it. Right, we are out. Dashboard is out. <clears throat> and there we go. I know it looks daunting like this, but this is one of the easier dashboards to do. There's very little wiring. Got a few clumps for the stereo. That's for the stereo as well. I mean, yeah, it's very, very minimal wiring on these. So yeah, they're not, they're not a difficult one to do. I mean, it's been a while since I last did a 500 dashboard, so it was a bit uh, of a learning curve again, trying to remember where all the fixings were. But yeah, once you've um, got all the trims off the actual front of the dashboard, 
Focus on like the clocks, the steering wheel, the um, the cowling, all the stereo system and drill the heater controls. Get all them out and generally they will discover all your fixings for you. Um, now these 500s, they, have, they like to have two right at the back, one there, one over there, which are hiding down the back of the dashboard. You have to pull the vent off the back. In there, there's one, there's the other. I mean, other than that, like I said, concentrate on getting all the trims off the dashboard and then it will kind of uncover all the fixings for you. Another good thing with these dashboards as well, flip it over, all the ducting is all riveted in place. So literally, them two rubber seals, all they do is sit flush to that mating face and that one. So there's no mess in trying to get these ductings back in place after. Yeah, like I said, a very easy one to do. So I mean, with all we're gonna do now is do the reverse of what I've done and put this one back in its place with a perfectly good dash top. So it should be far easier putting it back. Now I know where everything is. And then it's just a, a process of, like I said, just putting all the bits of trim back in, the clocks, the cowling, all the trim covers, the steering wheel, the stalks, and just slowly build it all back up until it's back to how it was before. And then after that, obviously, we're going to move on to the seat belts um, and other little jobs like that. A good thing to check on whilst you're at this stage is airbag ECUs because sometimes they're hiding down here and you can get to them. This one not so, not that I can see. Or is it? I seem to think it's down there. Let's have a look from the other side. I don't know why. But it seems to ring a bell. Uh, yep, there it is. That's the airbag ECU there. I don't remember even giving me one, to be fair. So, I mean, I can get access to that, no problem with the dashboard in. So we'll get it all back together, get all the new equipment in, and then we'll scan it and we'll see if we can um, delete it all ourselves. So on some cars you can, with a decent scanner, you can clear the, air, you can clear the airbag ECUs, they're not locked. Um, on other cars, they're locked and they have to either be changed with an identical ECU or you have to get them reset by a specialist. Which we have, don't we? We have that guy in Halifax, airbagreset.com. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we'll put it back together. We'll see if we can wipe it. If not, I'll have to whip that ECU out and post it off. Um, like I said, the airbag ECUs have to be identical. I've got one up there from Art 7 Fiesta that came with the airbag kit for the Fiesta ST, the white one we've just done. And that airbag ECU is from a 1.5 diesel, it says on it. Um, and the ST or that Fiesta, I can't remember which way around now, one of them had more airbags than the other, so it didn't work with it. I had an AC airbag light on because it didn't have all the components that it was expecting to find in that Fiesta ST or there was too many, one or the other. So yeah, they've got to be identical. So the best way is just to remove yours, send it off, get it wiped and put it back in. And you know for definite, you're not going to have any issues. Okay, I'm going to get this back together now and then maybe we'll do a bit of time lapse on doing a seatbelt. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Right. Right, it's actually a few days later now. And um, all the inside is done on this Fiat, so I do need to bring you up to date. But I'll tell you what, it is roasting today. It is um, 32 degrees outside, and I'm stood in a metal box with a few skylights. It's like being stood in a bloody microwave in here. It is so hot. I mean, I've not done anything in terms of work. Literally just paced up and down a couple of times. And I'm, I'm, I'm sweating already. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, the Fiat 500 is finished inside. We have got all the dashboard in place. Everything's back together. I've even done the seat belts, the pre-tensioners, everything. I did come up against an issue though. I can't wipe the airbag ECU in this car. And I could have sworn that one did come with this airbag kit, but I can't find it for the life of me. And like I said before, um, quite often you're best off getting your own one reset because it's specific to your car and model and exactly what options it's got. And quite often, you, most of the ones you cut that come with your dashboard don't match your car and they actually still have lights on because they're looking for certain components that aren't there and whatnot. So anyway, I've removed the airbag ECU and I've sent it off up to the same place I send it all the time. It's the guy up in Halifax, airbagreset.com. Um, if you Google airbagreset.com, it'll find him. He's in Halifax. You literally just pop it in post to him. He resets it and he pops it in post straight back really fast, you know, three, four days tops, and that'll be back. And that'll get rid of all our, all our problems in there. And that'll be good. So what else have we got to do on this car? Well, I'm still struggling for parts in colour. I have got a bumper skin on the way through eBay. It looks to be pretty good, but you just never know with bumpers. It's very hard to draw the... Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not... I'm going to save judgment until it's here and I can see the condition of it. Worst case, we're going to have to rub it down and paint it, but it is a bumper skin, exactly the same. So that deals with that issue. I cannot find a bonnet or a wing anywhere. Parts for these, they go straight away. When people are breaking them, the body panels, they go just like that. Because they're a very popular car to buy and rebuild. You've got plenty of people on YouTube that buy 500s and just 500s. Um, yeah, they're very, very popular. I mean, there's a channel that loves 500, he just does 500s all the time. And he does get parts from the same, well, the places that I get parts from as well, you see, even though we're inside of the country. Um, there's plenty of people, so yeah, they're hard to get the panels in colour, unless you're quick and just happen to land on some. So, I know where there's a bonnet. Obviously, it's the wrong colour, so we're going to have to paint that anyway. They don't have a driver's wing. I can get a driver's wing, no issue, but if I'm going to buy one and paint one, I might as well just repair this corner and just blend in this corner. Or worst case, paint the whole wing. So I'm going to go with that. I might as well just repair my own. I know it fits nice. All the gaps are nice. So that's the plan. Wait for this bumper to come in, in a day or two. In the meantime, have the new bonnet prepped ready for paint and have that repaired prepped ready for paint. Then when the bumper gets here, if it needs painting, we'll prep it and paint all of them at the same time. If it doesn't, we'll just paint the bonnet and the wing. Jobs are good. My headlight repair kits are here. Uh, the only thing I need to order is this trim here. That's the only one and I need to get on with that. Really get that ordered and obviously I need to still find a windscreen. I did have one there, but it turns out it's for a normal 500. And these 500 Cs, they're an extra inch or two at the top. So I need to ring my guy now for a screen and see if he's got one. And then we won't be far off. So yeah, quite a bit of progress, quite happy. And that is going to be the ending to this video. I think what one more one more video on this and we should be done. And I wouldn't like I said I want to get it done in this weather. I mean I do have a buyer. Um, so fingers crossed I can get it done. Chaps all happy. And uh, another one out of the way. So yeah, thank you as always for watching. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, take care in this heat. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.